Hi everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. It's kind of become a little bit of a series on my channel where I'm kind of going around different kind of supermarkets, seeing what I can get, how much it costs and I've done what Tesco and I've done Sainsbury's so far. This week I didn't particularly need anything drastic. I didn't need to do a food delivery. I didn't need to go to like any mainstream big supermarket. Look, I'm just going to put it as that. I just needed some like top ups like fridge top ups like for my lunches and stuff i am very much top child like when it comes to my snacks like yogurts and things like that so if you've got children this probably relates to yourselves what you can get you put a post up of what what you guys shop at what's your preference and etc so i have taken that on board i am still reviewing um all of that at the moment whilst filming this so by the time i put this out i'm probably gonna look at that more closely and then figure somewhere else because i think someone said can you try asda and i'm never shopping asda so i'm um, definitely watch this space subscribe if you are not already subscribed because i'm doing this on my channel it's kind of like the cost of living crisis you know shopping and all that kind of thing and just shopping on a budget so the shop of choice um was heron foods so if you've never shopped there before it's not like your typical mainstream supermarket it is very much it sells all the good branded products it's like a fraction of the price so the, the date might not be as good they might have some yogurts that are like out of date let's say in a couple of weeks or like next week i don't know about anybody else but a pack of four yogurts i'm going to eat them by next week so so i've got a heron foods across where i work and i thought you know what i need some fridgy snacky cheapy bits so I'm going to show you what I picked up, how much I spent, and you might have never shopped there, so this might intrigue you to go and have a look, um, or you might shop there regularly, I don't even know. So everyone, this is the receipt. How much I spent was um, 30 one pound and 49 pence and for that I got 33 items so you just let me know if you find this a good deal now I've got a lot of branded stuff but let's start off in this area um so I needed some Kellogg's these were two pound and to be fair a lot of places now are like two pound 25 some at daft like that so definitely the cheapest I've seen them so far I needed some milk because I've just ran out since my uh, Aldi shop. And then this, I mean, not everyone's cup of tea. Definitely not mine. Chris might get this, every, you know, in a blue moon, basically. Not very often. But this is £1.29. So if you are someone that probably buys this or their partner or whoever drinks that um it was one pound 29 which is really really cheap and i've got a bottle of pepsi max just for a little bit of treat with our tea tonight they had this little miller miller smoothie drink in um, raspberry and pomegranate that was reduced to 22 pence so I didn't think that was bad. I think I might uh, drink that in a little in a little bit. Um, little snacks. So we've got some Lion snack size bars. Um, again, I needed some like pack up stuff, and then I got a bar of dairy milk because this was seventy something p, seventy nine p, I believe. This is going to go in the next half an hour, so definitely not going to be um, a bother with me. But yeah, seventy nine p. Um, we've got some dairy milk orange fingers. These were a pound. Now. This has got squashed. I don't know how I managed that, but I got Farmhouse Warburton's because this was the best bread they had. Um, a very hit and miss really in Heron Foods because it was kind of the end of the day. Um, but this was one sixty nine, I believe, which is um, you know, for bread I think it's expensive. But anyway, gotta allow for that because this is what I mainly needed: milk, snacky bits, and bread. Um, but they had six tortilla wraps. I believe they were just a pound um so i'll just picked up some of them because they're really quick and easy to to have and convenient um they had some of this spinach and ricotta pasta now this can be you know not expensive but you know a little bit you know on the pricier side but that was 79p and chris likes things like this not my ultimate favorite but chris likes a bit of something like this so i picked up that for him and um, we needed some more butter so i just picked up this utterly butterly and some eggs i mean one pound 49 for them and one pound 49 for that absolutely crazy um so deals that you can get which is i'll get most excited about especially with heron is that i picked up these so 
high protein vanilla mousse um don't know what to expect with that but i like a bit of mousse and i've seen quite a lot of people go on about this high protein stuff now i got three for a pound um 20 grams of protein so i mean i don't know probably absolutely naff um but i got three of those and then i really fancied some beetroot so that was just on the shelf so i picked that up um i got some strawberry trifles which um look absolutely divine now they were actually reduced to one pound eleven so not a massive reduction but any reduction is a bonus in my opinion um so i'll pick up some of them so they are going to be out of date tomorrow they're going to be gone let's face it um now i find these kind of fridge snacks quite expensive um like you know the day really got like these ones and um, the dunkers all that kind of jazz um these were two packets for a pound which i didn't think was that bad? Let's just check the date on these. So these have got to be eaten by the 16th. I mean, it's the third today. Absolutely fine. So I picked up some of them just so I've got some for my pack lunches. Um, now, these are my favourite. I, I love these so much. These little jellies. Um, but again, I'm going to say the word, but it's expensive in supermarkets. So the expiry date on these, I'm not sure if you're interested in this expiry. Um, it's May 23, so you've got to eat it um, best before, not a used by, best before the end of this month. Get these three, four a pound, and I believe in like supermarkets, they're like, what, 70 stomach pay a pot? Um, so I've got the mango and passion fruit, the orange, and down there is the... Um, what is it blackberry and blueberry and blackberry these will be gone um but again i just love them in like my pack lunches very very child childlike but i love it um these philadelphia snack little dunker things now the um is it by dairy lit i don't know but them dunkers and for the four pack it was three pound but i could get three of these for one pound and i only need them like you know like i said for my pack lunches so i've just picked up three of them um i think that you know i just love things like that um i picked up some wildlife variety yogurts love these so if you've got kids how good are these little snacks? Um, these are my the not saying my favourite, but they are very very nice, and I, I'm I'm a sucker for like a lemon cake. Um, I think they're just nice and sweet and lovely with a cup of tea. Um, and these ones are really nice. They were like seventy some at p as well, which is really really good because they're quite expensive. Any I've said it again, expensive. Um. The only frozen bits that I picked up from Heron, but they do have oils of frozen stuff. Um, I just picked up chicken drummers because, again, these are so nice. I just love a drummer. Um, and then some crispy chicken burgers, just so I've got them in the fr freezer. And in case I just can't be bothered with, like, actually making a dinner, you can just chuck these in the air fryer or the oven. Um, these were, that was £2. So I'm not sure if that's a good deal, but I'm pretty sure it might be um, standard for them. And these were, I think, £2 as well. Let me just double check. Um, yeah, they were £2 as well, which um, I didn't think was bad. And this is the American ranch food. They have lots of, like, spicy stuff and whatever. So that's what I got there. And then, um, coming to the last few bits, I picked up some wheat crunches because they're, you know, something that Chris would have, even though he's not really a crisp lover, so to speak, as me. Um, if he was to have a packet, he would probably choose some of them. Um, who remembers these? Oh my god, they was a pound, pound for 15 bags. I mean, don't get me wrong, you could have 10 bags and they're not fill you up. But these are a classic, I love them. Definitely like a primary school vibe, but a pound, and I didn't think that was bad, and especially if you've got a, some children, I think that's really affordable, and you know, because they obviously only have one bag. Um or whatever you know i think that's brilliant so i had to pick some up for myself and then these monster munch then normally these were about two pound a bag um but these were 79p in heron so um when i saw that i was like you've got to come on with me um so for anyone that likes a bit of heron this is kind of like the vibe you know a bit of mix match you know i spent 31 quid got all my little essentials like my milk bread 
um, and then just some extras just to fill just to fill the fridge and then I don't have to worry about shopping now for another week because we've already got bits left over because we did spend um I might as well face yeah um let me just make sure my screen's clean um but we spent like 70 odd quid last week which is definitely over budget and we did get a lot um and we've still got bits left over from that shop and we've got things in the freezer so i didn't need to do any like overboard spending to 30 pound it's not too bad i don't think especially like branded stuff kitchen snacks and um, this would definitely cost a lot more if i went to like a mainstream supermarket um, but anyway guys that is it for today's video like I said I have kept in mind or I will keep in mind of your suggestions but if you haven't already submitted anything for me um, just let me know in the comments down below where you would like me to try next um, for this little shopping series thing I have no idea what I'm doing I'm just making it up as I go along I think um, but um, like the video if you can for me if you liked today's video subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one take care of yourself and yeah bye